The Protestant Reformation hit the Netherlands so hard that Catholics were forced underground. In the 1700s, the Archdiocese of Utrecht conducted ordinations of bishops without the authority of the Pope, and those involved were excommunicated. However, they continued to operate and would come to be known as Old Catholics. In the years 1869 through 1870, the Catholic Church held the First Vatican Council, viewed as the 20th Ecumenical Council of the Catholic Church, and one of the biggest things that came from it was the Church dogmatically defining the doctrine of papal infallibility, that when the Pope speaks ex cathedra, he is preserved from possibility of error. Several groups of Catholics rejected this and sought bishops from the Archbishop of Utrecht and became Old Catholics themselves. These new Old Catholic denominations joined in full communion with each other in a group called the Union of Utrecht, which also rejects the Pope's universal jurisdiction. Old Catholics are not in communion with the Catholic Church, but in many cases their orders and sacraments are recognized by the Catholics as being valid, with the exception of women priests or same-sex marriages. Old Catholics believe in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, but don't accept dogmatic requirement of the transubstantiation view. Divorced people can receive the Eucharist. Bishops and priests can get married. On the Immaculate Conception and Bodily Assumption of Mary, they are not dogmatically required, though they still may be held. Mass is conducted in the vernacular language. One of the old Catholic denominations, a U.S.-based one called the Polish National Catholic Church, broke communion and started its own union in 2008 called the Union of Scranton. They did so because of liberalizing trends in the Union of Utrecht. Churches in the Union of Utrecht allow women to be ordained to the priesthood, while those in the Union of Scranton do not. Some Union of Utrecht churches have allowed same-sex marriage, which is prohibited in the Union of Scranton. The Union of Utrecht is also in full communion with the Anglican Communion. The Polish National Catholic Church also teaches hopefulness of and the possibility of universal salvation. Another group that retains the liturgical style of worship but blends it with evangelicalism and charismatic streams is called the Convergence Movement. For more about one of these Convergence churches, click over to the next video. Or click here for a video on the Anglican Ordinariates which blend Catholic teaching with Anglican worship style and voice.